What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Rick McCormick, a Storm Regional Staffer with Storm Products. Um, and today we're going to be coming with another ball review from Roto Grip. Uh, this is one of our new releases, and I am super stoked about this one. Um, we are talking about the not or the Roto Grip clone. So this ball, it's got the lime green, dark green, kind of bluish purple. Uh, the colors look really good. Um, what we're going to see in this video is my all-time, or one of my all-time favorite balls is the UFO Alert, as many. Um, and we are going to see in this video if this is a Clone 2.0 or what the difference is between the Clone and the UFO Alert. So mine is drilled pinned down underneath my middle finger, which is the same layout as my UFO Alert, which we'll, you will see here in a second. Um, but we're going to go ahead and throw some shots. Uh, we're going to compare the two. And see what the differences are and see if this is a pretty close comparison to the ufo alert or if it's a slightly different one so we're going to go ahead and play a little bit straighter i did just shoot my uh tour dynamics video so yeah maybe a little bit crispy all right so that first shot um it's clean through the front part of the lane which is good um we're gonna Keep working a little bit left and see the differences between the UFO alert and the clone. Um, in my opinion, from what I've read and from what I've seen so far, this clone is possibly a slightly stronger uh, UFO alert. The UFO alert came out of the box, which was a hybrid, um, where the clone, it's got a modification in the core. The cover is a stronger cover and it's a solid. Um, so my opinion means it's going to be a slightly stronger version of the UFO alert. So let's go ahead and move in a little bit more. All right. So that one kind of labored down lane. Um, usually with the shiny balls, I would hit them with a pad um, just to kind of get the surface off or get the, the polish off of them, uh, which is what I did with the UFO alert, any shiny ball that I had. Um, but it's definitely clean through the front part of the lane. I definitely think this one's a little bit stronger because um, that one went a little bit more forward than the UFO alert. UFO alert um, maybe right in the same spot, just continued a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and keep moving a little further left. Try not to hit the microphone as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, like I said, um, I think it's clean. It's clean through the front part of the lane. When I knock the surface off of it and when I or knock the polish off of it, which usually I do it with like a 3,000 pad, maybe a light 2,000, just to kind of, you know, crack, put some teeth on the cover um, just to get that polish off. But I will probably say when I do that, it will probably hook maybe a hair sooner than the UFO alert um, rather than the UFO alert. It It's pretty clean for a, a stronger asymmetric piece uh shiny ball it's a hybrid it's pretty clean um, which made it very very versatile you can throw it super far left you can play straighter on the fresh uh, this one from what i understand with the clone this one um drill it stronger uh, maybe put a little hair more surface on it you'll be able to throw this one on the fresh a little bit more or frequently than the ufo alert because the ufo alert was so clean um, on the fresher line conditions you need that ball to kind of pick up and start early to blend out that back end, um, whether you're bowling on a house shot here at you know Northwest Lanes or whether you're bowling on some of the tougher stuff that I bowl on um, as well as some of my buddies. So we're gonna go ahead and keep moving left a little bit and then we'll get into the old Fifle as I call them, the UFO alert. Wow, <laughs> uh, I was not expecting that. I kind of twirled that one a little bit more. I usually twirl it, so don't hate me. Um, but yeah, that one's um, clean, but it definitely responds to friction maybe a little bit more than the uh, UFO alert, just because of the, like I said, the stronger cover. Um, this is a solid where the UFO alert was a hybrid um, and the, you know, the modification of the core, the cover, um, it makes it just essentially, in my opinion, from what I've seen, it makes it a stronger, UFO, just a hair stronger UFO alert. So we're gonna throw one more shot. 
we get even further left. This is nosebleed category for old Rick McDouble, as people call me. And then we'll get into the UFO alert for a couple shots. Oh, that is awful. Goodness, that was awful. <laughs> um, but we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to get into my UFO alert. Um, this is my old faithful. I love this ball. I've drilled probably three of them so far. The one that I have right now, um, we fixed my span. Um, so unfortunately, the plug that is on the span is cracking. So very sad. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, pinned down underneath my middle finger, mass kicked out. Same layout as my clone. Um, I think my clone, the pin may be just a hair lower. And I mean like a quarter of an inch lower. Doesn't cause that much of an issue. But we're going to go ahead and stand normally where I would stand with a UFO alert. And then we'll get in to that same part of lane with my clone. It was definitely more up the lane than I wanted to. Um, so we'll go ahead and throw another one. Real quick, yeah, but I think this clone, uh, personally, I think the clone is going to be a huge hit on for the tour guys, um, especially because we can't throw the UFO alert anymore. Um, so I think this one is going to be a good option to kind of replace that, but have a stronger and bigger, badder version of the UFO alert. That was a lot better. So that's what I really like, and a lot of people really like about that ball, is it's clean through the front part of the lane, reads the body really well, but for a shiny ball, it is slow off the spot. Everybody liked it because it was super versatile. You can throw it on, you know, Cheetah. You can throw it on, that one's probably coming this weekend, maybe not the clone. Uh, I do have a regional on, in, on Cheetah in Finley. So this UFO alert will be a good option for that clean motion, uh, kind of slower shape down lane, um, in case the front part of the lane kind of gets beat up. But... We're going to go ahead, I'm going to throw actually one more shot with my UFO alert, and then we'll go ahead and get right into my clone. Oh, that's got to pick up. Yeah, I mean, there's really nothing. I mean, that ball, I'm very sad that that ball was made. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, so we're going to throw a couple more shots with the clone, um, and then I'm going to give you my input on what the clone, the difference between the clone um, is compared to the UFO alert and see if it's, you know, a need in your bag or see where that would fit in your bag, I should say. So let's go ahead, same spot. Try not to hit the microphone, sorry guys. Baby, come on. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much a good example of what that clone does compared to the UFO alert. Um, the clone is essentially going to be, in my opinion, from what I've seen, same layouts, same everything. Um, the covers may be a little bit different because I didn't hit the clone with a pad. Um, but the clone, to me, seems like a slightly stronger version of the UFO alert with a little bit more continuation. Um, my opinion... I think it's going to work even better on the strong, like the longer lane conditions, maybe even the, um, you know, medium lane conditions. You're talking like 39 to 42 feet. Um, and then I think it's going to roll really good on the stronger lane conditions, anywhere from 43 to 45 feet. So we'll go ahead and throw one more shot real quick with my clone and then we'll wrap things up. Move about two further left. Oh, that's got to pick up. Oh, it does. Little trip four action. So, um, like I said, I think it's going to be the clone is going to be a slightly stronger um, version of the UFO alert um, for the modern lane conditions, per se. Um, definitely a good option to, I think, replace the UFO alert if you want something maybe a hair stronger down lane. It kind of gives you that same vibe, um, same shape. But the. Uh, like I said, the clone is a more modern, sorry, Bobby's here. Um, it's going to be a slightly stronger UFO alert. So essentially it's got that same shape, but it's more of a modern uh, shape compared to the UFO alert. The UFO alert's been out for a couple years, um, but the clone is a more 
same kind of thing as the UFO alert. Um, like I said, I think it's a little bit stronger and it's a little bit more down lane. So um, I definitely think it's a pretty good option to have in your bag um, because of that core and everything like that. Um, where it compares to the exotic gem and the eternity, I think it's stronger than the eternity, but not as strong as the exotic gem. Um, so I think it kind of fits out really well. Um, this is definitely going to be a ball I'm going to have in my bag personally. Um, but yeah, head over to uh, stormbowling.com. Um, check out all the new rotor grip releases, the new storm releases, um, and 900 global releases that have came out. Um, also, too, head over to coolwick.com. Um, nice, sharp, custom jersey that I made. I'm pretty sure some of these were got worn at the uh, Lucy Doubles, which is kind of cool. Um, but head over to um, coolwick.com. Use my code RMCCORMICK10 for 10% off any order that you have. Um, also, too, head over to Bowler X, which Krista and Lee Sand, they do a fantastic job over at Bowler X. Um, literally anything you want on from bowling, Bowler X definitely has it. Um, and also, too, thank you to um, all the guys' advice uh, for giving me and the other players that bowl on tour or just in general the best feel in the business. So uh, stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thanks.